how to use a reference track with span. Let's say that I'm in a mixing process and I want to compare my track to the reference track by looking at the frequency spectrum. First of all, make sure that your reference track isn't sent to the master by selecting X out. Now, you are going to align the two tracks with their busiest section, usually the drops, and you are going to loop a section. Second, make sure that the two tracks are in the same volume loudness. I've already made a video about how to do it if you want to watch it first. Now, let's use Pen to compare the frequency spectrum of the two tracks. It's another free plugin. Make sure to grab the Voxango Span version. You are going to apply Voxango Span onto the master. This is the default presets you should have, but to make sure you've got the same view, you are going to click on the small arrow next to presets and select Session Bank Default. Here, under Sidechain, you are going to select your reference track. Now, click on Routing, add inputs 3 and 4, and click on Group Names to rename the groups. Group 1 will be your master, and Group 2 your reference. You can switch here between the views Master or Reference. For now, stay on the Master, select any color you want, click on Settings, type Real-Time Average, block size to 8192 to have more information from our spectrum, and smooth at one third of an octave. Now select Ref, and you are going to repeat the same process. So choose another color, purple in this case, and apply the same settings again. Now select your master again and choose the reference next to underlay. Now let's solo our track and see what happens. We've got the frequency spectrum of our track in blue, our reference overlaid in purple, and you can now compare them. This will help you take decisions during your mixing mastering process by giving you a visual tool as well on what is going on in your tracks. If you need a bit more details in your spectrum, you could still adjust these settings. Trust your ears isn't always the best advice for beginners as they need to learn by hearing and seeing what is going on in their tracks. Personally, this is one of my favorite mixing tools.